Hello, everybody. Hello. Well, as you can see, we are back at Knott's Berry Farm. We're super excited. We were actually here yesterday for National Boysenberry Day. We were indeed, and we ate all the boysenberries. All of the boysenberry, but there's still some boysenberry left to be had, right? There is, and we're <laughs> gonna show it all to you. Absolutely. We told you guys we'd be back for the boysenberry festival, and here we are. We're gonna try a couple more tasty treats, yeah. maybe check out some entertainment, and who knows what else. Okay, Mom, you have to show everybody your outfit here. I will, but my, the happiest oh. thing for me <laughs> is this chicken purse. I have never seen anything like it. I'm so excited to have this. Oh, it's... It's a chicken purse. It is a, it's a Knott's chicken purse. That is, that is a choice. Isn't it? That is a choice. That's going to make an impression, Mom. And where did you get this purse, Mom? Well, I got it at Unique Vintage, but oh. I was told that a while back uh, Knott's had it, so I don't know. Well, why did the chicken cross the road, Mom? We're going to find out today, but I do need some Easter eggs to put in it. Easter, that is also a fashion statement. I know. <laughs> and so is this little brooch here that looks like strawberry jam. How scandalous, where's the boysenberry? <laughs> I don't know, but strawberry is here too. Well, strawberry, it's still jam, so it counts, right? It counts. <laughs> it's a berry. <laughs> Lindsay, what are you wearing today? Well, I am wearing this purple and white skirt. I got it at Sedeca. I also have this wonderful hat here that I got at Nuts. See, check it out. Oh, that's so <laughs> cute. Oh my gosh. Really cute. I also have boysenberry earrings on. I have a boysenberry purse actually, but I forgot it. So I'm not wearing that today. I'll just have to wear it next time. Well, first of all, you have a pin too, right? Oh, I do have a pin, yeah. It's right oh here. Oh my gosh. It's a little purple one. Would you like to borrow my uh, chicken purse? Oh, um, I don't know, Mom. That's quite the fashion statement. I think I'm too chicken to wear it. <laughs> well, we are pretty hungry right now, and we have cheeky drinks on our agenda. So I think we'd better get going. Follow us along. Why don't you? again to Knott's Boysenberry Festival 2023. Yay! Okay, so we're over at Spurs Chop House and we picked up a couple of items. First of all, we got the vegetarian chili, which looks really good. Um, I haven't tried this yet. My mom tried it at the Boysenberry Brunch. I did and it was really good. I wished I hadn't been so full. Yeah, otherwise if I hadn't been so full, I might have tried it at the brunch, but um, this looks really tasty. And we're uh, creatures of habit sometimes. <laughs> My mom and I got the mudslide, the boysenberry mudslide, and the boysenberry sangria as well, because we liked it so much the last time, we're gonna have it again. And I picked up this boysenberry sangria over at Boysenberry Lane, along with this um, buffalo chicken mac and cheese with ranch boysenberry dressing on it, which <laughs> we actually tried this at the media event and we loved it. So we're gonna see how it is today if we like it just as much. Okay, my mom is letting me try the chili first. I'm really excited to try it. It's gonna take a good bite. Looks like there's some uh, boysenberry bread to go with it even. Gonna have to try this as well. Okay, here we go everybody. Happy boysenberry festival. I'm gonna try the bread too. Give me one moment. A little bit of chili with it. Mm. This is really good with the bread. Really tasty, a little bit of spice to it too. I'm gonna to give it about a nine out of a 10, just cause I liked the chili a little better last year. I'm pretty sure they had a, a veggie chili option with the, the Fritos and it was really good. But this is really good too, it's really tasty. Like I said, a little bit of a spice, which I like. I definitely recommend it. It's a very good uh, vegetarian option, I think. Okay, I'm really excited to try this again. I loved it at the media event. I'm gonna get a really good bite. Lots of chicken, a little bit of that boysenberry ranch. Okay, here we go. Happy boysenberry festival. Okay, in all honesty, I would still give this a 10 out of a 10. I really like the buffalo chicken. It's a little spicy. And the chives on it with the, um, whatever the mac and cheese flavor is, the cheesiness in it is really good. 
with the boysenberry ranch. I love it. I love all that's happening here. It's really good and big portion too. Highly recommend this, definitely. I still am not sure which mac and cheese I like more. The other one we tried in the last video or this one. It's gonna be a tough choice. Mm. And also, FYI, boysenberry sangria pairs well with every single boysenberry item at this event. That's a proven fact. <laughs> and I know that because I have proved that fact. <laughs> okay, mom, so you really liked this chili at the brunch. So. I did, and to be honest with you, it smells really, really good. Oh, it so definitely does. The smell alone, but I'm curious. Is it the same? Well, give it a go. Mm. Fight number three. Very seldom do I do this. Number three. Number three, everybody. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think it's fabulous. I'm gonna give it a nine too. I just think I like the spice. Maybe it needed to be cooked a tiny bit longer. I'm gonna give it a nine and a half because okay. I really love the flavors and the smell. And um, maybe it's just my personal preference, but we're just talking nine and a half of course. versus a 10. This was good. Yeah, I just remember the chili being a little thicker last year, I think. And I like a thick chili, but this mm -hmm. is really good. Don't mm -hmm. get me wrong. I'm gonna be finishing this. So. Oh, we're eating it. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's gonna, yeah. It's a good vegetarian option, like it you said. It is. Oh my gosh. Okay, now on to this. Here's hoping it's the same. Well, let's find if out. not better. Mm. Now this is a 10 out of 10. I'd almost say it was better than at oh. the event. I like the chicken, it's just falling apart. Mm -hmm. um, like literally. <laughs> literally. And I really love this, 10 out of 10. Really Again, good. Again, love that too. Just out of curiosity, do you taste the boysenberry flavor in the mac and cheese? I do. Yeah? yeah. Like mm -hmm. the ranch? Yeah. And what about that mudslide there? Uh, here we go. Out of the whole event, this is my number one. Of a mudslide. You heard it from us. <laughs> Love it. Definitely check it out. You won't be disappointed. Not at all. Yay, good job. Well, then I think we are off to a very good start, wouldn't you say? We are, and I am so happy with our choices. Yeah, I bet we're getting a good start. It's going to be a great day. <laughs> Yay. Okay, as you can see, my mom and I are outside right now. We thought we'd enjoy some of this sunny weather that we're having today in California. And I went actually to the um, Ghost Town Bakery and got the sushi burrito with boysenberry sauce. I'm really curious about this. I really had wanted to try this in the last video, but I didn't get the chance. A lot of people have raved about this. Now I love sushi and I really like the uh, boysenberry sushi knots had last year for the boysenberry festival. So let's see how I like this sushi burrito. I'm really curious. And I believe this comes with a sweet chili boysenberry sauce. Interesting choice. I usually like soy sauce with my um, sushi <laughs> or maybe some spicy mayo, something along those lines. But who knows, maybe this is going to be really good. <laughs> and look at this. It has imitation crab in it and avocado and rice. This looks pretty good, actually. Let's give this a go. OK, I'm going to dip it in this chili sauce. Wow, it, oh, it's almost like jam. Like, look at that. <laughs> Very interesting, huh? Let's give this a go. <laughs> okay, I'm actually gonna give this another bite. <laughs> Let's see, it got a lot of the, the chili sauce on it, which is interesting. It's kind of like a spicy boysenberry jelly, kind of, but it's like, I don't know, it goes really well with the burrito. But I'm just gonna um, take another bite and let's see. You know, it is good. The chili sauce is what kind of really brings it together and makes it pretty tasty. Um, I wouldn't say it's gonna be my favorite item though. Um, the imitation crab is really good and the avocado. Uh, the rice was okay. So pretty good. I know a lot of people like this, so definitely try it. You may love this, but I'm gonna give it 
a seven and a half out of 10, I think. So not bad, you know, I just don't think I will order this again. Okay, I'm gonna have my mom try this actually. I'm really curious about this because my mom doesn't normally like sushi, do you mom? Not at all. As a matter of fact, you can tell a true sushi eater because they don't use a knife and fork, but I am. Oh, but this is a burrito. That's different. You can pick this up and eat it or use a fork if you want. No big deal. All right, here I go. I like the sauce. It is a little sweet, but it's spicy too. Uh huh. And are you gonna take another, another bite? bite. <laughs> All right, a little bit of sauce. You know, I'd venture to say for theme park sushi, it's really not bad. Okay, so what would you rate it then? For theme park sushi, I really like the spice. Um, I like um, the rice and the avocado and, you know, and crab. I think I'm gonna call it a seven out of 10. That's okay, not, not bad. bad. Yeah. You're not even normally a sushi eater no, anyway. No, but this is the sauce. I do like the sauce. It has a nice spice to it. Yeah, what would you call it? It's just like spicy and it's well, almost like boysenberry jelly. <laughs> yes, boysenberry um, with um, some kind of spice. I thought just maybe with a little bit of soy sauce it would also be good. Well, yeah. Along yeah. with the, the chili sauce, you know? Chili but... sauce. That's what I was looking for. I was searching for boysenberry and chili boysenberry sauce. Boysenberry chili, that's what that's it is. That's what it is. It's good. It, that's what kind of makes the burrito, I think, I agree. definitely. Well, as you can see, we made a stop to the Calico Saloon for a cheeky boysenberry mimosa. As you can see, I really wanted to try this. So I'm excited. Let's see how much I like it. <laughs> and what do you have there, Mom? I have a cheeky water a with, cheeky, with ice. A extra cheeky, extra ice. And how, want to rate it for us? I would say 10 out of 10. 10 it's, out of a 10. It's a good water. It's, it's a good solid water. I would say yes on that because it's a, it's a large cup of water, plenty of ice. And nice and icy. Free. And free. You can't get that at Disney it's, or it's hard to come by at Disney. These days. So a 10 out of a 10 rating at um, Knott's for Water is actually pretty good. In the Calico Saloon. <laughs> but will this boysenberry mimosa be a 10 out of a 10? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, I'm going to give this a good stir. I'm excited to try this. It's so dark in here too. <laughs> the atmosphere though, is it's really nice. It's really nice and uh, quiet. The perfect place to hang out, I think. And have a cheeky mimosa. So cheers. Happy Boysenberry Festival. I'm surprised actually. I think I tried the mimosa here last year and I didn't really care for it as much, but this is really, really good. I was thinking I would taste more of the boysenberry than the champagne, but it's a really good mix together. Definitely give it a good stir before you drink it. Um, plenty of champagne, uh, a nice uh, boysenberry flavor. It basically has boysenberry punch in it. I would totally get this again. Wonderful. 10 out of a 10 for me. Definitely check out the Calico Saloon. They have some other drink options as well and you won't be disappointed. They have the best drinks here. And just to look really quick at the Calico Saloon on the balcony over here, as you can see it's pretty empty. We're like the only people here and it's usually like this too even on a busy day so definitely remember that this is a really good place to chill right mom it really is and get popcorn too they have a couple snacks and <laughs> cheeky drinks so do you think you'll get another cheeky drink mom a cheeky water maybe, maybe even two cheeky waters <laughs> i don't know don't knock yourself out mom <laughs> So I took my cheeky mimosa and my mom and I are over at the Calico Nine stage. We are, and I took my cheeky water. Extra cheeky water. <laughs> so we're here to see the pie eating contest. Four o'clock, right, mom? Four o'clock. It's kind of a tradition for the Boysenberry Festival, right? <laughs> it is, it's very exciting. You put your name into a hat or whatever <laughs> they, they pull things That's right, from. They, you sign up for it, right? You sign up for it. And they pick six people. Six or so people, yeah. And pies are lined up. <laughs> and it's not how much you eat, 
it's how much your face gets out of the, uh, the boysenberry pie out of the pan. That's true. They kind of say like you don't have to eat it all, but you just have to get the boysenberry pie out of the pan somehow without using your hands. Without <laughs> using your hands, they do give you a glass of water and you can drink the water, but you know, that's it. Very interesting, but I think we've said enough. Why don't you guys just see for yourself? We're gonna <laughs> film it in a little bit. <laughs> so exciting. Are we ready? On your marks, get set. Take your pictures now, they're almost there. <laughs> Dapper Snoopy, we love it. Dapper. It's does it have boysenberries on it? It does, I think. It does. Oh my gosh. You look uh, mom, you should like wear a skirt like that. I should. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. Then you can be twinsies. We can't wait to meet the Easter Beagle sometime. Of course. Well, it was a lot of fun to hang out with Snoopy for a bit. We love Snoopy. As you can see, we are in camp Snoopy at the moment, and we just want to show you guys something really quick. Check out these rubber Woodstock floaty toys. Look at this, you can't get any better than this. <laughs> Just a million Woodstocks here. And they're actually a floaty toy. You can uh, purchase one of these or two and take them home, but why don't you give some of the details, Mom? Well, actually, I did purchase uh, a Woodstock. We did. And he did, he, <laughs> he does work in the bathtub. Oh, he floats. He floats, he's great. <laughs> Look, they all float. They all float. <laughs> but you also can play a game. And so if you make a purchase okay. of that, yes, or a Snoopy dog, a Snoopy can play the game. So, and, so you have a bunch of things to choose from. And what's the game exactly? Well, there's one, the number one, and the number two at the bottom of Woodstock. Okay. You get four picks and you have to pick one up and oh. match the one with the one or the two with the oh. two. I, I don't know if I would win that game. Did you win? I, I won. <laughs> you won. I won. You would win. You're Joni Conway. <laughs> but yeah, look at these Woodstocks. Look at this. There's something about seeing these Woodstocks just floating in the water that makes me so happy. I have wanted one for years and I, again, can verify they float in the bathtub. <laughs> like we said, they float. They all float. <laughs> all trillion of them. But these are really cute. They never sold them in the past. I think we've always kind of had our eye on these in I the past. I wanted one really bad. Of course, and they're just so <laughs> cute. Who wouldn't want one of these, right? I may have to take one home. To oh, they have boysenberries on them, right? I know, <gasps> of course. I didn't notice that. Um, I guess Woodstock has some boysenberries so he can have a snack later, right? He just can do whatever he wants. And this game ranges from what, Mom? Okay, you actually <laughs> get three picks. Oh, three picks. And it's only one or the number two. Okay. You're guaranteed to win. Guaranteed win. It is a guaranteed. So depending on what you want to of purchase, course. that will be That'll the That'll be win. the price. But that the Woodstock is $19.99. Yes. And I may have to go home with one of these today. We'll see. <laughs> Well, I think all that walking around has made us work up an appetite and check these out. We had the boysenberry beignets at the media event. We really liked them, but these look even better because look at all of that powdered sugar, that purpley 
boysenberry goodness. I love it. And look at this plate. It has boysenberries on it. This is uh, beautiful, a work of art. Can't wait to try these again. We'll have to see how these compare to the media event. Everybody was raving about them, right? Uh, we love them too. The only thing is um, these really do look better, I even so. better. Yeah. Um, they look warm, um, more uh, sugar on them. Uh, I just think I'm dying to try them. Well, why don't you give it a go, Mom? I'm gonna do that. This is really good. We rated these good, really good at the event, but I don't know, these are way better. What makes them so good? At the event, I thought there was something kind of spicy on it. Interesting. And I didn't care as much for it. These are perfect. Oh, yum. With extra sugary goodness too. I can't wait to try them. <laughs> Look at that. This looks delicious. Lots of sugary goodness. I love beignets. They're so good. Beignets are always a good idea, I think. Happy Boysenberry Festival. Mm. Oh my gosh, these beignets are great. Very fresh too. Like super fresh, like almost melts in your mouth fresh. Tasty, lots of sugary goodness. Mm. Oh my goodness, and look at all that sugar. It's everywhere. <laughs> Actually, if you go to, I think it's Cafe Du Monde over in New Orleans, there's powder everywhere there, like on the tables, on the ground. It's like a thing. It's like a cool thing, you know? Like if you had a beignet at Cafe Du Monde, you know, you have to get powder everywhere. It's just what you have to do. And look at all this powder. It's delicious. Um, like I said, these are really, really fresh, really tasty. I want to say even better than when we had them at the media event. I give these a 10 out of a 10. I'm so glad we tried these again because these are delicious and they're, they're beautiful. My boys and very heart is just very happy right now. Okay, we're at the Birdcage Theater and we're gonna check out a show next. We're gonna see the River Boat Revenge. We're really excited about this. We love the entertainment at Knott's. As you can see, we got a couple more items here. First of all, another cheeky mudslide. That looks really tasty as usual. We got two boysenberry pie tarts, which we didn't get to try last time because they were uh, sold out by the end of the night, unfortunately, but today we'll get to try them. Not only that, but we have the boysenberry barbecue beef tips right here with Parmesan grits. Now this was at the media event, but we're gonna try it again because it looks really tasty and it sounded good. Just a little sweet and savory, I guess. <laughs> well, that looks fantastic, actually. It really looks fantastic. Oh my gosh. 
what I liked about this dish at the event yes. was the meat fell apart. Let's see. Mm. Oh my God. That's delicious. 10 out of 10. 10 out of a 10? I'm going to get some of the grits. You know, I'm not a grit person, but these are nicely done. Good job, Nat. Well, I'm excited that it tastes as good as it looks because it looks fantastic and mm -hmm. the portion is wonderful as well. Like, look at this. We may have to take some of this home because this is mm -hmm. giant. All right, I'm going to get a good bite as usual. A little bit of these Parmesan grits, of course. Some onion, here we go. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. What I love about this is the barbecue flavor in it. That's really good. And the meat just falls apart in your mouth. Like my mom, I like mashed potatoes a little bit more than grits, but the Parmesan is really good in these. And it just something about it pairs really well with the, the meat, with the beef here. Definitely get this. This is delicious. It's a must, um, especially if you like beef, if you like grits, if you just like some kind of barbecue, boysenberry taste. It's really, really good. Great flavor. Highly recommend. Well, Mom, is that mudslide as good as the one you had earlier? Let's see. And remember, I'll share it with you. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see, right? They have made perfect mudslides every time. You never met a mudslide you didn't like, right? Ten out of ten. <laughs> what about this boysenberry pie tart here? I have already cut it up, ready to go. Go for it, Mom. Okay. Ten out of ten for the pie tart. So good. So it tastes as good as it looks, right? Better better. Mm -hmm. Now this is a kind of reimagined boysenberry pie tart from last year, right? It is. It um, was like a slice, not like pie shape, but not a like slice. like a pie shape, right. Mm -hmm. Or like a bar, I guess a bar. you could say. That's what it is. So it's kind of like an easier little pie tart to carry around, just kind of a reimagining of it. A little more crustier, I guess, on the outside. Yeah, I think it's delicious. I like it better than the bar, and that was pretty darn okay. good. Okay, okay, I have a little piece here. It looks like a tiny little pie slice. <laughs> kind of cute. All right, happy boysenberry festival. Mmm, mmm. This is great. Wow. Very, very fresh, not stale at all. A very good balance with uh, just the crusty cookie part or pie part and the boysenberry and the little crunchy stuff on top. This is really good. This is a 10 out of a 10. This is delicious. I'm really happy. My boysenberry heart is full today. We'll definitely be getting this again. Well, everybody, we had a fabulous day. Another fabulous day at Knott's Boysenberry Festival. We had some yummy food. We met some great people. We saw some great entertainment, but we are really full right now. We cannot eat another boysenberry, not one. <laughs> and my chicken is full too. Every, we're all full, we're all going home with full stomachs. And we're pretty tired now too, so we're gonna go home and sleep and dream of coming back here and eating more boysenberry. Mudslides. <laughs> and the mudslides. I think that means it is the end of our video, but only for now. Because we have tons of content coming out really soon at Knott's, at Disneyland, at filming locations. Who knows where else you will see us next, right? Who knows? Even we don't know. Sometimes we don't even know yet till like we get to the day. <laughs> or the morning. On that note, if you liked our video, please hit that like and subscribe button because it helps our channel out a whole lot. Plus, it'll keep you guys updated on our crazy adventures. <laughs> so Knox Boysenberry Festival was gonna run till April 16th, but now it's been extended till May 7th. I know, that's great news. After April 16th, it runs Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 
But just a heads up, um, from Sunday till Saturday, the vendors are going to have their stuff out, right, Mom? Yes, all vendors will be here. Yes, for sure. So we're talking about the Crafters Village, that area that sells all the fabulous boysenberry merch, such as this hat that I'm wearing right here. And an apron that I got <laughs> earlier. Yes, there's all sorts of things you can buy. I also got these earrings at one of the vendors right here. They're boysenberries. So as you can see, we love to shop over there, and that is going to be open Sunday through Saturday till the end of the Boysenberry Festival. Correct. So not just the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's just something that's important for everybody to know. Yes. Also, there's lots of other food items we did not try. Believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know we showed a lot. We showed a couple oldies but goodies. Some of the things we tried again from the media then, and some new items today that we had never tried before at all. But there's even more items to be tried, so uh, definitely check them out and let us know what you think. If you tried anything that you really loved, we would love to know that. <laughs> Okay, everybody, well, the boysenberries are starting to freeze right now. <laughs> it's getting pretty cold, so we are gonna head home. Stay safe out there, stay awesome, and perhaps sometime we will see you at Knott's Boysenberry Festival. Have a great day, everybody, and thank you so much for watching. Bye! Bye.